Okay, in this video I'm going to address a question that a viewer asked me regarding how will the Starlink internet system affect the need for the Theta network, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, the Starlink Internet Satellite System is going to be a matrix of 42,000 Internet satellites in low Earth orbit. It's going to take about 8 to 10 years to build out. There are currently approximately 700 satellites up already. The goal of the Starlink Internet System is not to replace the ground-based Internet System. Rather, the goal is to fill in the gaps of the roughly 50% of the planet that are not currently served by ground-based Internet because they are too rural or too remote. What this means is while the ground-based internet system is like a four-lane interstate, the Starlink system is more like a two-lane divided highway. The speed limit is the same, but the capacity to move things through is half that of the ground-based system. Starlink will work well for those low-density population areas such as very rural and remote areas uh, of the world, but uh, it will work poorly in heavily populated areas such as big cities and suburbs. While Starlink will work in high population areas, it will suffer serious performance issues with heavy use. In short, while Starlink will accomplish its goal of providing internet to relatively remote and heavily rural areas not currently served by ground-based internet because it's just not practical to lay in all that infrastructure for 25, 50, 100 customers. So uh, they're going to have to be served by Starlink. But Starlink does nothing to solve the issues that the Theta network addresses. So I think that answers the question of what will Starlink do uh, relative to the Theta network. So if you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.